So Apollo 13 had to fit a square peg in a round hole. Here at Audioholics, we have to find a way to make our whatever funnel we have long enough so we could stick it into the cabinet of the SVTRS RBH speaker system because the designer says we need to mass load this with sand. He's a bit nutty, but been, been following him for many years. So we are about to put 40 pounds of sand into the middle portion of this cabinet to mass load it. And we're gonna do some measurements and listening tests to see how that changes things. So I'm going to hold that. You're the buff guy. You 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 <laughs> sand and yeah, <laughs> pour yeah. that. Again. Okay. Um, this is where you guys get the sand. This is audio grade audiophile sand from local pet. from the local PetSmart. All right, so here we go. How many bags Perfect. are we using? 40 pounds for two bags each? 20 pound bags, two bags each. <laughs> Oh, wow. Is that to keep it fresh? Yeah, to keep the moisture out of it. <laughs> Biomagnet clarifier. Oh, it, you pour it in with the water. It's some kind of liquid packet. The funny thing is we're at the pet store and the lady goes, what kind of aquarium do you have? I go, actually, it's a loudspeaker. <laughs> she looked at me like I was crazy. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. We are audioholics after we're all. Yeah. How's that? Yep, great. While it helps, it will help because um, the sand inside of the cabinet will damp resonance that's occurring inside of the cabinet. Great. Thank you. So I wanted to give you guys a little perspective about this mass loading business. You can't do this with every speaker. In fact, there's very few speakers on the market that you can do this with. It just happens to be that this mid-base module, the mid-range tweeter array, the cabinet is larger than it needs to be to house these speakers. It has a similar cabinet volume to what is in these subwoofers. So only half the cabinet is used. They basically put a brace in there. Half the cabinet's used, the other half is basically got stuffing in it, but there's no uh, use of that volume for the woofers. So in this case, I put the sand at the back in the terminal cup. I loaded 40 pounds of sand in there to provide more rigidity to the cabinet. Now, I did try to do frequency response measurements before and after. There wasn't a whole lot of difference. What really needs to be done is like using a laser vibrometer to measure the mechanical resonances before and after. And unfortunately, I don't have that tool. So I did put it in here, I put the mass load in, it doesn't hurt anything. If anything, it provides more rigidity to the cabinet. As you can see, this is very inert now. It wasn't not as inert before. So that's a good thing. So again, check with the manufacturer, make sure your speaker is a candidate for mass loading. Don't just take the terminal cup off the back and start throwing sand in it. Make sure there is a compartment designed for that. This is a very scientific process. You might want here. to film on this other side. <laughs> it's like a rainmaker. Beautiful instrument. You're recording? Yes. I'll be impressed if you haven't spilled any sand. Uh, don't the jinx it. <laughs> Come on, sand, go faster. <laughs> it's like watching a uh, a sand timer. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what I was thinking of. Yep. <laughs> we should calculate how long it takes. <laughs> yeah.